All right, hello, welcome back. Now, you may notice something pretty different about me. I have a SpongeBob chair behind me. What's that all about? Well, it's because we're doing a tier list. Yeah, that's right. I've reverted to tier lists. So basically, I have got photos of pretty much every single Sonic movie fight that I can remember off the top of my head, and I did flick through the film as well, both movies, to try and find every fight scene I could. I guarantee you, though, I've definitely forgotten one or two, and you people will proceed to tell me in the comments section. Thanks, so I appreciate that. I want it to be flooded with the ones I missed, please. Thank you. And I'm going to go through and rank every single one. And which ones I think are the best, which will be S tier, and which ones I think are the worst, which will be D tier. And we'll have a nice little tier list at the end. Wouldn't that be awesome? That's something cool about this is I've actually made this a tier list template. That's right. Best Sonic Movie Fight Scene Tier List. Have you ever wanted to rate what the best fight in the Sonic Movie franchise is? Well, here you go. Enjoy. There's a link in the description down below so you can go and do this yourself. Tag me in them. Go on, tag me in them on the community tab page or, or Twitter. Tag me anywhere that you can if you actually do this, because I want to see your ratings. Let's get into it. I'm going to try and do these the most chronological order I can remember, but my memory is too too foggy, so I don't know for sure. First, we're going to start off with Long Claw vs. The Echidnas, which did birth me- No, no, it didn't birth me. Get out. Don't put that up on the screen. Anyways, Long Claw vs. The Echidnas is the very start of the Sonic movie. You've got no clue what's really going on until boom. Right here, we have Long Claw versus the Echidnas. Now, where am I going to put this fight? I don't know if I'd count it as much of a fight. Some kind of battles happen, and that's really about it. There's not that many fights going on, you know what I mean? There's, there's not too many fights that are happening. But I'd say... A, because I'd say it sort of, it solidifies, there we go, we got there in the end, it solidifies a nice cool little backstory for Movie Sonic. Oh, it's sad, his mother dead because of the Echidnas. He has a reason to not like the Echidnas. He has a reason to not like Knuckles whenever Knuckles turns up. This is where my memory goes foggy, I can't remember anymore. So we're just going to pick from random and I'm going to pick the bar fight. Sonic Movie 1, bar fight scene when everyone gets annoyed at him and he gets a little bit mad that there's a hedgehog walking around here. I'd say this is quite cool because they slow down time and they do the whole show enough thing that Sonic is super speed and that he can, he can do that if he wants. To. So I would say this one deserves probably an A as well. This one's honestly, they're on par with each other. I'd probably bump that down to a B actually now that I think about it. Next up, let's switch it up. Let's do one from Sonic Movie 2. Let's do Eggman's first opening scene. You know, the first fight scene of the film when Eggman fights against the Echidna Warriors, I believe that's who it are. But like, he fights against some people and it's quite cool. And this one, A tier. Come on. It's a cool way to introduce the movie. It shows you that Eggman managed to actually get home like he said he would, and it's a bunch of fighting stuff, and it brings in our boy Knuckles. H how would you not want that? And now, you may have noticed there's another image that's popped up at the bottom. It's because I've just remembered that this fight scene existed. So why not do this one next? We have the big fight scene at the end of the movie where Sonic decides that he wants to run around like Egypt and France and all these different places because he needs to get away from Eggman. Bigger, it, it, it's cool, it's a big cool fight scene, and it shows off a lot of Sonic's speed. I don't know how to say it, but the way that he does this stuff is cool. And the CGI of his rings in that scene, even cooler. The little scene where there's the mime and he opens up the portal, and that actually is the portal. Cool! That is sick, it's an insane hype build-up, and you know what? S, why not? It's a cool fight scene, it goes on for quite a while. So we might as well do the one that comes after it. This one, where Sonic actually fights Eggman. He actually manages to get back to Green Hills and he decides, right, I'm not gonna run from him anymore. I'm going to fight. I'm gonna put this one in B. Now, stick with me here. It was still a cool fight scene and it was still something cool to see. But all Sonic really does is jump on Eggman's thing over and over and over and over again. Pause, stop. Don't take that how I think you're going to take that. Pause again, Jesus Christ. Basically, Sonic just kind of keeps jumping on Eggman's uh, big rocket ship thing over and over. And I know. Yes, okay, I know this is a reference to the games. I know it's supposed to be, look, you do that in the video games. You you jump on Eggman's thing until eventually it breaks and boom, he has to run away. Oh no, yeah. I get it. I get that it's a reference to the games, which was a cool thing to end with, a reference to the game. But I don't know, it just felt a bit underwhelming to be the end, you know what I mean? The ending fight is he just gets pushed through a ring and that is it for Eggman, that's all you hear. Next one, let's go for Sonic in the car chase. You know the one where Sonic's getting chased by Eggman in this big, massive, like, the robot droid thing that he's actually sat inside of, shooting things away? No, he's not sat inside of it, sorry. I'm actually just an idiot. I'm, I'm just lying to you all. I'm just an absolute idiot. Quite an awesome one with the bomb that gets stuck on his hand. It blow it destroys the front of their car at the top of it. That's pretty awesome as well. A, why not? A tier fight scene. Next off, let's go for Sonic and Sonic Movie 2. You know this one. It's the one where he's fighting against all of the bad guys in the van of the trucks. Oh no. What are we going to do? There's people doing bad things around Green Hills. If only there was a hedgehog to save us. Oh wait, there he is. Sonic the Hedgehog. Now I would say this one, A tier. Again, it's a cool way to introduce the film. It brings Sonic right back in and it shows you that he hasn't lost any of the swag he got in the last film. 
Yes, I did just say tag in swag in 2024. Deal with it. It's a cool fight scene. I think it was really awesome. The drilling thing was quite cool. He managed to drill it all out. He managed to get the money of explosions and stuff. And I loved it quite a lot, okay? Speaking of first introductions, let's do this one. Sonic versus Knuckles. When Knuckles comes to Sonic's house. Yep, that's right. He pulls up on him and he decides, you know what? I think it's time to fight right here, right now. Let's do it. Let's fight right here, right now. This one... Uh, this one, I'm not gonna lie. A tier again. I know, I'm sorry I'm putting all of these in A tier, but they're all really good. Is there any I could possibly move? Maybe that one down to a B, but that one's... Yeah, that one down to a B. Why not? I was a bit too generous with that one. All right, we'll mess with it and give it a B. This one was just a cool fight scene, though. It was cool to introduce Knuckles to Sonic. Sonic had no clue who Knuckles was before this, and this is the first time he's ever seen him before. It's really cool to bring him in like this. He brings him in with Eggman as well, so there's Eggman, Knuckles, and Sonic. So at the same time Sonic's found out Knuckles exist, he's also found out that Romantic's back. He's just jumped through some portal and he's come back. Easy as that. It was cool to kind of bring Sonic up to speed on things. And Tails comes in and saves him, which is even cooler. It brings all of them together and it's really awesome and I love it. Yes, I know you're probably thinking, why the hell has he included Sonic Drone Home? Why, why is that on here? But I don't care, all right? Sonic Drone Home, they technically fought against Eggman's robot machine things. Even if Eggman wasn't there and there was no humans and it was all CGI, who cares? because it's still something Sonic movie related. Beat it. It's cool. They bring in a robot that Tails becomes friends with at the end, but then for some reason when he talks about taking him home, we never see him again. We don't see him in the Knuckles TV show once. His robot friend is not there. I want to know. I honestly demand to know what happened to the robot from Sonic Drone Home. Where did he go? What, wh where did he, why did he just disappear like that? And yes, we're going to bring up this one. We're going to bring up the dance scene. Now I know what you're going to say. Oh, this isn't really a fight. They don't fight anyone. It's a dance battle. It's a dance battle, okay? Shut up. I think this one was our first C. Yeah, C tier. It was good, all right? People hate on that scene way too much. I don't hate that scene personally that much. It's not too bad. It's not too terrible. It's not too shabby. But uh, I don't know. It was a little bit long and using Uptown Funk was quite a surprise. Out of all the music they kind of picked, they picked Uptown Funk. One that was popular in like 2017 and they used it in 2022. Weird. I don't know who's, whose choice that was, but I hope they never got to make a choice on the Sonic movies ever again. Yes, I know what you're thinking. These are just the same ones, right? These are just the, 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 the same fight scenes, surely. I definitely planned that and haven't just noticed that now. Boom. It's going to go right here. Actually, no, I'm actually going to use this one to link it to the fight scene where Tails drives Sonic away in the car. And they have a big chase down the road where Knuckles jumps after them on the car. This one, still staying in A tier regardless, right? That's still a cool fight scene. Knuckles flying through that truck was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a movie theater ever full stop. And it was really cool to see Sonic and Tails actually talk to each other, especially the bit where he's like, Oh, you know why I'm called Tails? Oh, let me guess, because of the extra tail. Loved it. Absolutely beautiful to see my two boys interact. Sonic vs. Doubles in the Temple, S tier. If you do this tier list and you do not put this in S tier, you are completely incorrect. This is one of the coolest fight scenes in movie history ever, and I'm not fighting against it. Sonic vs. Knuckles was one of the coolest fight scenes in any movie ever. History. Done. Fact. Easy. It was so cool. Eggman was commentating. He took the Master of World to betray Knuckles at the same time, but Sonic and Knuckles were also fighting each other at the same time, but then Sonic actually tried to help Knuckles out, and when the whole thing was destroyed, Sonic actually helped out Knuckles. Come on now. It shows their characters off so amazingly and so beautifully, and I love it. I love it so much. The snowboarding fight scene, the one where they're in the temple, and then Knuckles and Eggman turn up, and he says, Hey guys, how's it going? I thought I knew what you said there, but I completely forgot it. I'm not going to lie to you, so yeah, I kind of screwed myself over with that one, so I just kept talking. This one, quite a cool fight scene, quite a sick one. It's kind of the whole thing where he has to carry Tails, despite the fact that Tails is knocked out, presumed dead. Who knows? He, he could have died. It was a cool fight scene, and snowboarding was a nice change of scenery, and it's Ice Cap Zone, so why wouldn't you love that? It's Ice Cap Zone. You know what? A tier. Why not? A tier. Let's bring that into A tier. It was quite cool. This one can go down to B tier with the tails and the cop car because whilst it was cool and whilst it was awesome, quite short. Sure, they just kind of drive, drive a car down the road and that's that, that's actually about it. Let's go for the rooftop fight. The rooftop fight that happens in Sonic Movie 1 when Sonic finally gets his rings back, but nope, Eggman's there to stop him from getting his rings back. This one, quite cool. It was quite awesome. It's kicked off this big massive fight scene between Sonic and Eggman where they run through a bunch of different countries, which is already rated S tier as well. This one, I'd give it a B tier. Why not? It was a bit annoying to get rid of Tom and Maddie immediately. Tom could have had some sort of quips with Robotnik just for a little bit. Not too many, just a couple more. But I get why they had to get rid of them, because they can't just run down all those stairs again, can they? You've got to use the ring. And finally, we are left with the Super Sonic fight scene and the fight scene where Team Sonic team up against Dr. Eggman. And now, come on. Come on, I, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. The last 
30 minutes of the Sonic movie. Sonic movie 2, by the way. Last last 30 minutes of Sonic movie 2. Peak cinema. The best thing I've ever seen ever on a cinema screen. And yes, I mean that. Seeing Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles like this all stood next to each other ready to kick Eggman's butt. Oh my god. It was beautiful. It was something I, brother, I was freaking out in my chair, okay? It was absolutely insane to see that on the big screen. And Super Sonic, I swear to god. The cinema would have had to remove me because I would have started attacking people because I was so hyped. But I held myself down nonetheless because I needed to see Supersonic beat some robotic cheeks. I needed to see that happen. Come on, how would I miss out on that? It's beautiful. And well, here it is. The Sonic Movie Fight Scene Tier List. This is my Sonic Movie Fight Scene Tier List. Let's look through and see if we want to change any of these. I'd say the A tier, the S tier row, solid. S tier row is solid. A tier, again. Solid. All pretty good A-tier fights. B-tier, again, solid. Pretty good B-tier. And C-tier, being the uptown funk dance scene and that's it. Yeah. No D-tier. Guess what? I'm a little bit biased. Why? I like the Sonic movies, so I'm not really going to give any of them a horrible rating because it's the Sonic movies after all. Come on. Why, why would I hate those? I, I'm not ever going to hate those. And yeah, here it is. My first tier list ever. I, I've never done a tier list before. This is the first tier list because I didn't think we would care about my opinions. But go do the tier list yourself. Tag me in whatever you do because I want to see your ratings of the Sonic movie stuff and I'll see if I can agree with you or if I think it it sucks. Obviously, why not? Like and subscribe because I'm the best Sonic movie news source there is. Proof of fact, by the way, that is a proven one. Also, let me know if you like this different style of content. I'm trying to branch out from the Sonic movie news stuff because I'm just going to end up covering fake leaks if not. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe to the number one Sonic movie news source there is. Proven fact, by the way, that is a proven one and I will see you all in a bit. Good. <laughs>